banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. the show from the future a few minutes ago it's classic game room and this is target earth for your sega genesis giant robots making things explode in space with that unforgettable early 90s attitude the year is 2201 and a cyborg army returns from the depths of space to attack Earth, because that's what you do when you're a cyborg army that's pissed off at Earth, you attack it. It makes for better video games than trying to negotiate. This is Target Earth from 1990, also known as Assault Suit Lenos in Japan, a game where you play as a giant robot mech thing and shoot waves of enemies with lasers and machine guns and missiles. Sounds great in theory. In practice, it's... it's mediocre. While the music and the style and the box art are incredible, the actual gameplay feels like a broken version of Thexter. Is it a side-scrolling run-and-gun platformer? Is it a spaceship shooter? They couldn't decide, so combine them both. Which works great if it's Dexter with an auto-targeting laser. When you have to rotate your cannon manually, well, that makes Target Earth really, really awkward. So, for those of you who like giant robots and a challenge bordering on punishment, here's a game for you because the enemies are merciless. They never let up, they swarm you, they'll bombard you with shots, and you do regenerate health, slowly, but it's very difficult to not take any damage, especially once you start entering the tunnels, where you'll, you'll really wish you were playing Thexter. Or, or at least have, have Thexter as some backup. Fortunately, the invincibility code is extremely easy to pull off. Just plug in a second controller and hit start while you're playing. You're invincible. I love the music in this part, and the little brown robots are your friends, so sometimes you'll have your teammates shooting enemies with you. There's a lot of great ideas in Target Earth, the gameplay just doesn't hold up to them. It does push you to experiment with the weapon diversity though, you have a lot of different options, machine guns, shotguns, missile launchers, homing missiles, which are handy for boss battles. But you will run out of ammo fast, so just be careful what you're shooting at, memorize the levels. It's a tough game. I just can't stop complimenting the cool music and the graphics, though. Great art design. I got up to the end of level 3 several times, but just found the space scenes downright frustrating. Like, what's my man Rex supposed to do? Give me a, a better ass robot like Thexter, Voltron. Even a Veritech fighter with some homing missiles. I mean, just just look at this scene. What are, what are you supposed to do? You can't pick these things off from a distance, and you'll run out of homing missiles, so y you're screwed. And I like the cutscenes. Nice hair. On that note, I have a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Andrew from Cherry Hill, New, New Jersey. Jersey. It's Target Earth. 
And here's a spoiler alert, because I'm going to show you a clip from the ending, which you'll probably never see without the cheat code. You'll never win, but I just did, so take that.